Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see us through. Alrighty, guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Husky Devil. Um, so I'm just gonna do a quick guide on getting the Thunderlord. Because yesterday during my live stream, a lot of people were confused, like why they didn't get the quest and stuff like that. So I'm just going to run a complete quick guide on how to do it. So the first thing you got to do is go to tower, talk to Amanda, and she gives you a quest. Here, I'll pop it up right here right now. The quest is... Uh, sorry, one second. Okay. Journal of the Reef Cryptarch. As you can see, it's almost done. The first, but the first thing you have to do is get 10 legendary ingrams or exotics. Um, a lot of people are either just farm for these, or the fastest way to do this part is go to Master Raul. And if you have the legendary shards to use, what just is this? buy them from him. Watch. If you go in 20, it costs 25 legendary shards to crypt. I need three more, so one, two, and three. And there you go. It upgrades the set quest. All right. So let's go to the quest real quick. Alright, so as you guys see, it updated and now it says you have to go to three different um, lost sectors, all in the EDZ. Atrium, Terranus East, Widow's Walk. Those are all pretty quick. I'm going to show you where you guys to go. Alright, so go to EDZ and they're all going to be right here. One, two, and three. There. We'll launch in and we'll pick up right when I when I get back into into EDZ. Alright. So here we are in the EDZ. Um, now I'm just gonna show you guys where all three of them and all you have to do is kill the boss and loot the chest at the end. That's all you have to do. So
devil back. Uh, so, I forgot to um, mute myself during this part, but the next part of it is you have to go to a di different lost sector called Whittling Falls, or Whispered Falls, sorry. Um, I'm just going to run this super quickly. Just the best way to do this is go to the Winding Cove um, spawning point and just follow my video from there and you guys will see what happens next. Uh, and I'll pick up right after, right after we finish this. So here we are in the Traveler, and let's go speak to Mana and get the final quest up. Alright, All right, there she is, Amanda! I would like my gift. Did Petrovenge pull the trigger, or was it you? Wait, wait, don't tell me. I don't want to know. Still can't believe what they did to his robe. He looked like a trophy. Even a puffed up cryptarch doesn't deserve to end up like that. Nobody does. I was out of ideas, so I showed Rahul what you found. His face when he found out. Like it had happened to him. A couple hours later, I get some coordinates on my terminal for a fallen transmat pad in the EDZ. Can't read where it's pointing, but it's somewhere they don't want you to be. This is our chance. Head back across the pond, use that transmat, and get ready for trouble. Okay. So, that's exactly what we're going to do. <clears throat> so, as you can see, we got the final quest up. Uh, for the thing loads. Today. Okay. And here it is. Go to the EZ, find the fallen transmat pad, and see where it leads. Um, it's not going to be a mystery or anything. It's pretty easy. Go to the uh, EDZ in that last law sector that we were just in. That's where we're going again. See? Got some reef tech. I know if you like. follow, if you track it, it'll point you to where to this. So, <clears throat> yeah, we'll go ahead and fast forward to that. All right, guys. So here we are. We are back in this area. We're just going to watch out. This is going to be pretty quickly, so what we're going to do this pretty quickly, so hopefully it doesn't take too long. Yeah, we're just going to go follow this same path to this lost sector that we were just in. And, yeah. Once we get there, I'll, I'll just tell you guys what to do. Oh, loading. Love it. Love it. Lovely. 
today. Game. Okay, there we go. Okay. As you can see, again, there's two uh, blueberries. They're probably going to go in and do it. Um, this time, you don't have to kill the boss. You could e easily just run through it s quickly. Right, I'm going to get off my sparrow before I get trapped. Um, but yeah, just... Yeah. You don't have to kill anything unless you want to. I, I'm probably not going to, because looks like these guys because they're in my way. Jump over these guys. Yeah, they do hurt, but you know. Oh, and just for those of you that are wondering like, what power level this is at, it's power 200. It's easy. You can easily one man this, and right here, this is what you have to do. Just go and activate, and boom. Uh, it's going to be a quick little loading screen. It's going to take you to a throwback area. It's amazing. Um, but I will come back once we get there. Hey, got your signal? Where'd you end up? Oh, my cotton socks. The Cosmodrome. The... Sit tight there. I scrambled your location. Zavala won't know you're breaking the quarantine on old Russia. Do me a solid and stick to the wall, okay? All hell's gonna break loose if the big guy finds out you're there. Meantime, I'll keep you covered. See if you can find any clues nearby. And track down the fallen bastards that did this. After all, you've got some practice. <laughs> so as you guys can see, this is the final quest. You guys are back in the EDZ. It's amazing. Um, I played this three different times and each time was amazing. Um, but yeah, pretty much all you have to do is just, you don't have to kill all these little guys. There's a few different bosses you have to kill, and then that's it. Alright, so if you guys take all those guys out, this is where the first boss is going to be. It's just the shank. Go and kill him real quick, and then the barrier will go down. As you can see, it took me to... It's not that hard. Just, yeah. Alright, from there. Just keep on running through. It'll just lead you and, yeah, keep on going. I'm just going to passport all of this until I get to the next area. So this is the final boss room, um, right here, you just got to face two different bosses, and once you do, that's it. Uh, obviously it's going to have a lot of ads first, so yeah, just go and deal with those, and I'm just going to fast forward through this, and yeah.
want to end the ride All right, guys. And after that, that's that's it for this room. After that, you gotta go back all the way back to the beginning, to where you were. And yeah. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. Um, you're going back into this uh, room. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> uh, this one. Enemies are back. You don't have to worry about them. You can easily just run past all of them. And, yeah. Yeah, the last thing he says, escape the Cosmodrome. But... I don't know, I feel like this mission is also, like, foreshadowing, like, future DLC, because you'll see what I'm seeing. What well, I'm talking about in a minute. In a minute. Okay, if I knew how to jump. Alright, but yeah. Boom. Come in here. That's it, huh? And here it is. We got him. Something's still bugging me about this, though. Get back to that teleporter when you can. But listen. I don't think my little trick is gonna fool Zavala twice. This might be the last time you ever set foot in the Cosmodrome. See you back in the tower. Alright, so after that you gotta go over there to the transmit to uh, just get back. But there's some extra little things. Like you see, leave Cosmodrome with a question mark. And if you pop out your ghost, there's a little thing that says, When you're done exploring the Cosmodrome, head to the transmit and return to the tower. But there might be still something interesting in the area. So there's a few different things I saw from some different YouTubers. So if you follow the path that I go, um, you'll find a few different little Easter eggs. Or, I don't know, little clues. So if you come over here to these pipes. Um, you gotta find like that sweet spot. Right here. Oh, I just had it. But as you, you guys, if you guys get near it, it'll be like, oh, scan here. See scan. And something opened up that hatch recently. Their telemetry spiking a lot of residual ether around that pipe. Keep your eyes out for falling. You hear me? I don't want to lose you too. All right. And then here's another one over here. These are the only the ones I've seen or found myself during my live stream. Um, so yeah, and now here's this one. It used to be the Fallen pretty much owned the Cosmodrome. And then they just split right before the Legion hit us. That's a lot of stuff. Some of it real useful. I put a tarp on something you're not coming back for. Unless they did come back after all. Alright. The next one, um... can't remember where it is exactly, but it's got two skeletons in it. Um, Alright. So I'll, I'll find that one in a bit, but there's another one over here by this bridge. Just right here, boom. That's a highway to nowhere right there. I've flown all across this region and it's just rusted out cars, dead cities, rubble and rebar. I can't imagine what it was like before the collapse. Sometimes I can't even picture a future where it's just us on Earth again. <laughs> So that, that one's pretty interesting. Uh, I think. Here. Yeah. Cade brought me out here once. We looked at all the cars, all the people who died trying to get to safety during the collapse. And he said, listen, don't worry about dying. Death isn't the end. 
Not since the Traveler showed up. You ever feel sad about your folks? You just wait for them to show up again as guardians. You just wait. <laughs> I'm still waiting. That's pretty deep. It's sad. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I almost cried when I first heard that. Like, but it's also interesting to find out more, a little bit more behind the traveler and everything. Um, but anyways, the final one that I've known about, I know about, is this one right here. It's right next to a transmat. That's where your ghost found you, huh? Wonder if you were part of the Exodus or someone who came along after. Someone who picked the wrong place to hide from the fallen. Yep. Alrighty, and that's all I've really found so far, but yeah. Once you get near the transmat, it's gonna teleport you out here. So, let's go to the tower now. So once you get to the tower, you gotta go speak to Amanda again. And she will... She won't give you the Thunder Lord, but she'll give you something to get the Thunder Lord. And don't worry, you don't have to go anywhere else. So here we go. Here's Amanda. Good to pay old Russia a visit, huh? A lot of memories back there. I still think we're missing something. What were the Fallen really after? Why go after some Cryptarch from the Reef? <sighs> well, that's above my pay grade. Meantime, you should probably have this. I found it in his stuff. One last trinket he don't need. And thanks, Guardian. Not everybody's lucky enough to get avenged. Stay strong, Titan. Some tough words. But yeah, as you saw, she gave me an exotic Ingram. Said it's Ives' little thing. So there's only one person that could decrypt it. Master Raul, which is... Over here, and so once you get over here, go to Mr. Raul. Perhaps a barter is warranted. Turn in your Ingram, and there you guys go. The Thunder Lord is now yours. Um, it, it will drop at different power levels, like for my Titan, since it's so it's a lo low power level, 582 is what it dropped at. For, for my warlock yesterday, if you guys saw it, he dropped at 600. So, it's a good chance to get a full a 600. It's awesome. But, yeah. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I hope this did help ed anybody out. And actually, here we go. I can infuse it if I really want to, but I don't want to. Eh, why not? This I don't transfer things over. But, there you guys go. Thunderlord Quest from the beginning to end i hope this helped you guys out if it did leave a comment down below leave a like subscribe and let me know what other views you guys want to see what live streams you guys want to see and you know, just anything but thank you guys for watching i love you all have a great day